In today's Left Academy Presents, we're going to walk through how to reset a sensor that is currently set up uh, to another communication protocol that is not UMB. As you may or may not know, Left uh, has a proprietary protocol called UMB, and that's how we communicate to all our sensors. Sometimes uh, sensors get communication or get uh, set up to communicate via Modbus or SDI-12, which are other communication protocols, and uh, are required to get back into UMB for uh, making any modification to the sensor. The way to do that is using the left UMB configuration tool. To do this, uh, you need to download the left UMB configuration tool by going to left.com, clicking on support, downloads, software, UMB technology, and selecting software UMB configuration tool. Once you downloaded that, you also want to make sure that the converter that you're using uh, tends to be a RS-45 to USB uh, converter. Uh, it has the right baud rate settings. Uh, in this case, we need them to be at 19 to 100, data bits of 8, parity of none, stop bits of 1, and flow control of none. You also want to make sure that the physical wiring that you've done is according to uh, the left uh, manual. In this case, we're using the WS uh, product family, so you're going to be using the WS product family manual. Go to page 26 where it's going to walk you through the different uh, pin configurations or wiring um, color schemes that you need to do to make sure that you have the right proper wiring. Uh, you want to make sure that the green and the yellow are properly placed or else you're not going to be able to communicate to your sensor. Once you have that in place, uh, we want to make sure that uh, you're ready to go. So the next step is going to be to uh, showcase what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be uh, going back into a sensor that's currently set up as a Modbus RTU sensor. The line speed is 19200. The ID is 15 and the parity uh, is none. I uh, want to highlight that in this case, the example is ID 15. A lot of times customers don't know what that ID is. So what we're going to be doing is going to be doing a wildcard a number uh, to get you back into the sensor without having to remember what ID it is. Uh, it's a good way of, uh, you know, just uh, a safeguard to uh, in case you uh, don't know what the ID is once you have it uh, in place. Once you downloaded the left UMB configuration tool, you would want to go into the edit connection settings and make sure that the selected port is the port that you're going to be using for your converter. Uh, this is very important or else you're not going to be able to communicate to the sensor. All right. So click OK. Click OK. We're going to go edit sensors. In this case, we are connecting to a WSX, but we, as you can see here, have a wide array of different types of sensors you can communicate to using this software. Again, this is a free software you can download from our website. In this case, we're going to go into WSX-UMB, and we're going to add ID1, just in case we, because we don't know what the ID is. But uh, in case uh, we don't know the ID is, we want to go ahead and uh, get the communication to the sensor. So we're going to do ID200. ID200 is your wildcard number. So you could use this to um, pull up any sensor in the network that uh, might not be called out in, with the ID 1. We're going to go ahead and click Verify. I'm expecting to see a Verify fail. Why? Because the sensor is currently set up as a Modbus sensor, not as a UMB sensor. Now what I need to do is go into physically to the sensor and disconnect power to it. We we'll want to disconnect power to just the sensor, not the converter. So you disconnect the power to the sensor. I am physically doing that right now and then reconnecting power. Within three to five seconds, you want to go ahead and click Verify again. And I'm expecting to see Verify OK, which it did. Now, Verify OK and ID 200. What well, that means that ID 1, you couldn't find an, a sensor with that uh, ID, hence why the Verify failed. However, it did find something with an ID 200 or a different ID from ID 1. So we're going to click OK, click on the ID, or anywhere within that field, that line, click configure, and we're going to load profile from sensor. Now you see two different tabs populate. This is the info tab of the sensor, the information of the uh, sensor, including um, you know firmware and uh, different types of uh, manufacturing identification numbers. But what our interest is is the WSX-UMB tab. And as you can see, the ID is 15, line speed is 19200, Modbus protocol is RTU, parity is none, as we stated in the previous uh, slide. Well, in this case, we're going to get the sensor back into UMB combinary uh, mode to be able to then uh, configure what we want. And I'm going to set it back to default, which is default one. We're going to go back to main and store profile and sensor. 
going to run, writing the information to the RAM of the sensor and uh, storing that information of what we had in the configuration tool into the sensor. So then now the sensor now becomes a left UMB tool or left UMB sensor, not a Modbus sensor anymore. Configuration is written to the sensor and you're done. This concludes how to reset a sensor that is set up to another communication protocol that is not UMB. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at love.com in contact us section. Thank you for your time.